Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be an awesome video, like always, but today we're shooting two 357 Magnums, one in a Model 66 revolver, and one in a 1911 semi-auto. A lot of people have been asking me, in a 357 Magnum, is there more power in a revolver or semi-auto? We're about to find out here between this Model 66 revolver and this Kunan. 357 Magnum 1911, but we're gonna do a paper plate test, obviously. Put down in the comments down below which one of these handguns is gonna go through more of these paper plates. First, we're gonna shoot the revolver, then we're gonna shoot the Kunan, take a look and find the bullets in these plates and see which one has more power. But let's take a closer look at the pistols and the ammo quick, and then we're gonna get to shooting. Should be a fun one. A little bit closer here at the handguns. This is a Model 66 seven shot 357 Magnum revolver. Pretty cool, it's a seven shot. And here we have the infamous Kunan 357 Magnum 1911. Very nice, sweet shooting 1911. We're gonna be shooting the exact same ammo out of both of these handguns. PMC 357 Mag, 150 grain, Jacketed hollow points. Let's get set up, do some shooting. We're gonna start with the revolver first. It should be a whole lot of fun. All right, so first shot here with the Model 66 and those 150 grain bullets. Let's see what happens to the paper plates here. Shooting this at almost point blank range. All right, so shot that one, not too bad. Now, let's go grab the Kunan 1911, see how it does with these bullets. All right, now the Kunan, same exact bullets we just shot out of that revolver, 357 Magnum. Let's see how we can do with this thing. shooting them one right after the other. Obviously it's the same bullet, but I feel like that one had more recoil. Let's go take a look at the plates and see what happened. Top hole there is the revolver. The bottom hole was the 1911. Let's take apart these plates, see if we can find those bullets, see which one went the furthest. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say, ah, Revolver shot the bullet the furthest. Actually, real quick, let's put those side by side to see which one has the longest barrel. That's what everyone's gonna say. Oh, the one with the longest barrel is the one that has the most power. So let's put them side by side quick. Putting these pistols back to back, looks like the 1911 has the longer barrel. I already guessed that the revolver would have the most power, so I'm sticking with my guess. Let's go take these plates apart and see what happened. So, Remember, we shot the revolver higher and the 1911 Kunan lower. So I'm gonna loosen these up. I guarantee you, those were jacketed hollow points, so my guess is they probably didn't go but like this far somewhere. But like always, I'm gonna start from the back just in case. Yep, we got nothing. So I'm gonna run through these real quick till we get into some action here. Still nothing, still nothing. Still nothing. Ooh, very interesting. So, still nothing right there. We'll go a little bit slower here. Still nothing. Right there. It looks like it's gonna be very close. So, right there, you can see a tear on the top of the plate, but not on the bottom which means the top shot, which was the revolver, has the most power, possibly, maybe, it's arguable. So the most power could mean that the bullet disintegrated faster, right? If the bullet was going faster, so more power, 
You be the judge. Let's say that. So I'm going to take up this whole section here just to show you. The top has a crack, which is where the revolver was, and the bottom does not. So the revolver bullet went further than the 1911. Let's just leave it at that, and you scientists can say what you think about what happened. But the revolver bullet went further. Let's see if we can find the bullets here. So right here is the revolver bullet. Looks like it actually stayed pretty much intact. So it fell out of the casing, but if I can hold it where you can see it, there is the bullet that was shot out of the revolver. And we're gonna leave that right here so I can come back and count how many plates it was. Now let's see if we can find the bullet, exact same bullet that we shot out of that Kunan 1911 plates are kind of stuck together here and actually not too far off from the revolver there it is right there pretty wild there is the bullet that was shot out of that 1911 looks like it had a little bit more violent fragmentation which may mean more power I'm gonna set that to the side this is literally the only plates in difference between those two handguns. Let's count them, because this will take me like two seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 plates difference between the 357 Magnum revolver and 1911. Only 13 plates bit of difference, the revolver going further. So very, very close, I'd say. I know some of you are going to want to know the plate count, so I'm going to go ahead and count all these, and I'll be right back to you. So, out of all these plates, this was 144 plates to stop the 1911 357 Magnum. 144 plus the 13 difference is 157 to stop the total with the revolver. But let's take a little bit closer look at these bullets that we caught here. On the left, we have the one fired out of the Kunan 1911. And out of the right, we have the one that was fired out of the revolver. You can see this one here broke up into a couple more pieces. And this one stayed completely intact there. Thanks for watching this paper plate test video, guys. This one was a whole lot of fun. If you ever wondered which one would go through more paper plates, 357 Magnum revolver or 1911, now you know. It's actually really close, but the revolver goes through more plates. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Big shout out to my buddy Jeff and also to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. Thank you for all your support. Everybody go check out Heavy Metal. They've always got something cool and fun going on. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We have a new video every single day. Can you believe it? Check out the description down below. There's a bunch of cool stuff down there. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Hootie Hoo!